Uh, it started recording before I was ready. I don't know, scarf too bulky? Doesn't really go with the ears. Maybe we gotta ditch the ears. Then I gotta look at the top of my head. All options suck. Welcome back. We have got some pin mail today. Before I get into that, a little housekeeping. I'm not filming in a usual spot. It's just easier to film right here with my cat. But this location also is like right by my apartment front door. So if I randomly stop, it's because I hear people in the halls. And if I can hear them, do you hear that? Then they can hear me. So uh, the apartment next door, they're actually doing some work on it because we're gonna have new people coming in and the noise is scaring the cat. So I have cat TV on in the background. I know this was a really great, awesome start to a pin mail video, but I'm gonna follow that up with some more awesomeness. So first I'm like, oh, I thought I had more pin mail, you know, four packs, all right, not so bad. And then I found the other pile so make that seven packages but you know i am starting a new thing i brought home a jar of olive oil from work and my cat just licked it thanks um i'm not gonna buy pins off ebay anymore that's what i decided you know let's eliminate that one thing um, I would like to know everyone's feedback on if pins you get in Facebook groups and on Instagram, if they are for the most part authentic. Because I know with eBay, it's a huge risk. I haven't really ran, run into problems outside of eBay, so I'm curious what everyone else thinks. Oh, this is a pin I got from the Weekend Pin Deals group. I'll put it down here. And it is of our main man himself yeah so if you hear birds chirping in the background that's cat tv i don't have birds living in my home though that would be nice and this is an awesome pin i'm really getting good with this figure out collection guys so i didn't do much of an intro or anything but if you're new to this channel um wow he's still licking this olive oil like i'm gonna have to show you the mess my home this aisle way is in the and now he just heard a noise so he's stopping I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this. Oh my gosh, you know what's so crazy? We had this packed next to another item by this brand that had like sardines. And I wonder if that's what's happening here. Wow, I surrender that to you, bus. Whoa, that's, this has never happened before. Wow, and you guys got a smooch too. I know, I'm taking crazy cat lady to like a whole new level this is pretty nuts um so that was my first pin uh the seller's name was chuck i think it was maybe 15 dollars. i don't know I, you know what you don't need to know what i spent on my pins okay so no worries about that there buster you go back to what you were doing and let's move on to the next one this is um pins that i get from mickey monthly it's a pin subscription that my sister signed me up for where you get three different pins they're usually um booster set pins or mystery pack pins but it's nice to keep your trader collection or your collection in general growing so the first one oh we got like a stocking this looks like a yoda stocking so that's fun a little too little too late with the holiday season but i'll take it anyway and we have Doo -doo, become in these nice pouches which I then reuse oh so I hate this though you guys if you watch you'll know this is my pet peeve when all the pins you get in a mystery or, or all the items you get in any sort of mystery are uh, all from the same set so this is a Darth Vader one I'm not even too concerned about getting this close-up because it's a Star Wars stocking pin you know I'm not I'm not mad at the subscription because it's a great affordable subscription. I'm just, you know, I'm just not too into it. Ooh, and we got a cocoa pin, so that's fun. That's good. So they changed it up a bit. We had some cocoa, some Di uh, Star Wars. That's great. There's so much activity in the hallway 
only when I go to do this. It's frustrating, actually. So, next I want to get into something that might be a surprise. I received one package that was prettier than all the other pin mail packages, and I was like, wow, this seller really cares. And then I saw the name, and the name is Oh Hello Robin. And I said, well, that's not a pin seller. Or is she? I was then I was like, maybe she's secretly Ah Robin. I'm gonna read the note first, but I see. Oh my gosh. So the note says cast members gave these year of a million dreams pins to guests when they witnessed random acts of kindness thus spreading the magic and making someone's dream come true i'm passing it on to you for the very same reason the disney youtuber facebook group you started is a huge resource for learning and making friends and has been a big help for me and my channel thank you for spreading the magic and for being an awesome disney friend love hello robin this was like so nice to come home to on a Friday after, you know, a so-so day of work. Uh, I also almost got into like a fight with a pack of middle school kids on the CVS prescription pharmacy line because they were like beating each other up and they didn't care that I was right there. So I honked the horn and then the CVS people thought I was honking at them. And I was like, no, I'm playing Pokemon Go waiting for my drugs. And these kids are beating each other up. And uh, then they were like, oh, these, the kids were a problem for them too. But anyway, it's been a tough day. And after a day like that, it is great to come home to a pin like this. I love Tinkerbell pins and this is a pretty one, but what I love about it most of all is the message and meaning behind it. So this is a pin I'm going to keep on my personal board, not my Tinkerbell board, because it really means a lot to me. And because Robin is so nice, Buster, here is a nice new cushy for your tushy imported from Tokyo. Shut up. <laughs> I saw Robin open this on her channel and instantly loved it. And oh my gosh, I lived through her Tokyo Kawaii things. And Buster's going to freaking love this. Oh my gosh. I wonder if she got one, like if this was the one she owned, because I feel like she took it out. Oh my God, I'm gonna put this down and he's gonna go on it. So when he does, I'm gonna film back and cut back to Buster. Robin, thank you so much. If you're watching this, I'm, I'm talking to everyone. I'm sure you've already seen Robin's channel, but it's Oh Hello Robin. And she is just so much fun to get to know. As fun as it is watching everybody's videos in this, you know, YouTube community and pin world and everything, it's so much more fun when you start commenting because then you, the friendships start to be made. Because at first you feel weird commenting. He smells Robin's cat on the wrapper. He's eating the wrapper. He must smell her cat. Um, but once you start commenting, that's when you start to get to know people. And in the beginning, it feels weird because it's almost like exposing yourself. I don't know, I just, I felt shy to comment in the beginning, but then once I started commenting on people's channel, I realized that's where, like, the magic really starts. So, that is my bit of advice to anyone who's not commenting, to start commenting. This next pin comes from Stitches Spaceport, which must be an eBay seller. So, Yes, uh, this was very random for me to get, but I thought it was so cute. Here it goes. Are right, you checking out your figure out? Oh, ho, ho. what's that, Buster? Is that you? Yeah. I know, I'm kind of crazy with this cat stuff, but... Ah, so this is looking a commercial on the cat TV. So I had an experience with, I thought a pin from eBay was authentic, then someone else was like, no, it's not. So now I get really cautious. But this says it's a limited edition of 200. I don't know. It has ice creams on the back. 
it is Minnie as Little Red Riding Hood. And I just thought it was so cute. Minnie Mouse reminds me of my grandma. <laughs> she would always, you know, she kind of speaks like her. Um, yeah, so you'll have to let me know what you guys think. If you can even tell just from a clip like this of the authenticity of this pimp. Because it's very possible that you can. That's fair. Um, but I thought it was a really nice pin. And it was a pretty good price, too. So I'm moving all my packages out of the way. I'm going to let Buster sniff and smell them all. Because I think we're, we're getting there, guys. We're getting, I think we're down to two more. All right? In it to win it. Let's do this. Okay, this other item is from eBay. So, this is one I'm going to definitely have to check the authenticities on because... Okay, well, all Buster's like freaking out over the package from Robin. Because um, it came in a group of 10 pins and I think I got it for $10. Ooh, I got to be gentle. So, it is these Monsters Ink pins. So sometimes it's really my own fault for getting like over, over ambitious and not nah, just desperate for pins. But I mean, this one looks good. Pin Trading Fun Day 2017. You know what might be easier? I'm just going to show you the card. We'll put figure out in the back. Let me show you. <laughs> okay. So that was that, and I have one package left, which does come from Paris. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I get this from Alba, who has a group. Ooh, come back, Nina. Come back. Hello, hello. It's all been a dream. It's just a dream. And now we're back. Okay. So uh, she has a pin group, Alba pin trading group. Ooh, um, did I just get this one? No, I, there's two in here. Okay, so this one is because we collect Tinkerbell. And I'm going to leave it in the packing, even because I want my husband to see uh, it as it came. So sorry if you can't super see it really good on the back. Oh, wow, it, it comes on like a postcard, which is really neat. And oh, he's so freaking cute on this. This one I can open up from the pack. I don't care if he gets to see this. I'm worried about me. That's what, did you get a pen? What are you playing with? Oh, shit. What are you, oh. This little jerk had a pin back. Gosh, it is not easy pin trading and having a cat. Now I've got a monster zinc pin without its back, Buster. You think that's appropriate? You think that's nice to do when your mom's filming pin mail? No, you can't have that one either. I didn't even get to show it yet. Jeez Louise, and now the guy next door is making all this noise. It's like nobody cares about the art of a YouTube video. Nobody cares. Here's my pen. So I didn't know if I would ever get this. So I'm glad that I have. It is the My Cat Collection. It is Figaro, obviously looking super cute with Minnie. And uh, he's got the little fish with his name. If I had to choose, I actually prefer Figaro uh, with Geppetto. Um, Cause he was Geppetto's cat first before he was Minnie's. It was like Buster being marketed if he had a mother after me. You know, like, no, I'm his real mom. Just like Geppetto's Figaro's real dad. So, I get it. I get it, I'm crazy. 
Um, so I feel like I had a pretty good pin mail opening today. I think I'm definitely gonna slow down a lot less eBay and but I'm still gonna do things at, at where I have fun like buying this pin. This was just me having fun. Um, and once again, a big thank you to Robin from Oh Hello Robin. So make sure you visit her channel and say oh hello to her. And if you are a Disney YouTuber or if you really like Disney YouTube videos and you're thinking about becoming one, join that Facebook group. We have so much fun. I just really love seeing other channels. There are a lot of new channels on there. There also are a couple of really established channels on there and it's nice to see them join and it's nice to just trade notes and get to know each other and pick each other's brains. It's been a really fun process. So thank you everybody who's a part of that and thank you to everybody for watching Busters After the Pins again. Cut. Cut. We're going.